Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another mock exam um, revision day. So far, if you've been keeping up with the videos I've been putting out, I have done a mock exam day for chemistry. And now today's study day is purely for my maths paper. My maths paper is two hours long. And to be completely honest, there is a lot of work to do. I'm really just sitting down now and looking and thinking, oh my God, there's so much to do for this paper. I think that because it's two hours long a lot of it is going to be on trigonometry and differentiation just because those are like the biggest topics we've done this year in the past papers that my teacher gave us a lot of it is trigonometry and differentiation so that's what i want to focus today on i want to make sure that i can do both of those quite well so at least i can like score well there now my teacher gave us a revision list i'll show you my revision list one second so i basically logged onto notion and i put my exam um, revision list onto my notion page. Here's my revision list. The topics that I am most comfortable with are partial fractions, binomials, and I would say I'm okay at trig and differentiation. I just need to like go over some of those core concepts again. Now sequences and modulus, I'm not really confident with that. Um, sequences, luckily I have a formula booklet. All of the formula I need to know are there. I do know the difference between an AP and a GP, but I really really need to go over that again. However, I feel like I need to prioritize. There is no point in me going through a topic now and spending ages on modulus and sequences only for it to come up like once when differentiation comes up in so many different things in maths anyway so the plan is spend an hour hour and a half on differentiation then do some of the past papers that my teacher gave me and if i have time just brush through sequences and modulus just to like familiarize myself with it so yeah let me get started working differentiation this is my maths textbook it's used for aqa at excel and ocr but i mean maths is maths i started off by doing some of the easier questions you know like the standard ones at the front of the textbook because in my personal opinion I don't see the point in me starting exam questions if I can't even like do the basics. I worked my way up from easiest question at the start of the textbook to the more difficult questions at the end of the textbook. I've been working at this question for a few minutes now. And I don't know where it's leading me, like, from just looking at it, I don't know why I am ending up with powers to three and random numbers here and there. I'm going to try and simplify it, um, if I can figure out how to. Oh no, I can't even solve it like that. Okay, I'm going to go get my laptop to try and figure out what the hell is going on with this song. I managed to figure out where I went wrong. I just realized, I looked at myself in the mirror, I look so tired. Like there are just really, really, really prominent dark um, circles underneath my eyes. I'm gonna go make a snack for myself. I'm really hungry actually, I haven't really eaten much because you gals been having an upset stomach for the past few days. But I'm gonna go try and make something to eat and in the meantime, I think what I'm going to try and do is just go through some of the past papers that my teacher gave me. I'm feeling okay about differentiation. To be honest, I just kind of want to get this exam out of the way. I think maybe in the heat of the exam moment, I should be able to think of something and answer these questions. Maybe I'm just overthinking it a bit too much. I don't know. I would never understand why producers will willingly change a really, really good um, show and make it so bad. Like, what is this? Why are they all like this? Who the hell asked for a Patrick Star show? I'm sorry, but this is just not it. I thought it would be kind of cool for you guys to see how I work out a maths question. Sometimes whenever I watch other people study vlogs and they do show me how they work out stuff. I find it pretty useful. 
So if you want to see how I work out a trick question, just keep on watching. I will say though that it took me time to work out the answer, but when I managed to get it, it was pretty easy. Sit back, relax and enjoy for the next like two or three minutes this clip of me working out this trigonometry question. Sine 2 theta equals cot theta. I did revise for longer and then I thought, you know what, it's dinner time, I might as well watch some TV. I watched Dragon's Den, one of my favourite shows actually, I love watching the clips on YouTube as well. I went to bed at around 11 and then it was exam day. Now I have actually vlogged my entire mock exam week and that video will be coming out very very shortly, so stay tuned for that. If you want to see my feelings of my A-level maths exam, how I got on then that video will be out very soon. But thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe and I will see you next week for another video. Bye!